Welcome back to another video you guys. I'm here with Don O'Neill today, multi-time NHRA national event winner and we're here to talk about his very cool, very unique Top Sportsman Camaro. Stay tuned. people on the channel who may not know you, could you just kind of give a little background um, and introduce yourself just briefly? Don O'Neill, driver of the NGK, NTK, Pop Sportsman Camaro, LS, X, Magnuson, Supercharged, 427, 670s a 205, been driving the car for, this will be its second year, came from Nitrous World, uh, over to the Blown World with the Magnuson program, and uh, every time I make a lap in it, I learn something new. Yeah. I, I imagine it's a very, very cool, very unique car. Can you tell me a little bit of background on how you got down this journey? Because I imagine you're probably staging up against big block Chevys, Nitrous. This is this has got to be unique in your class, right? It is extremely unique. Right now, there's only three LSs that in the country that are competing in Top Sportsman. Wow. I was a Nitrous guy for. Five years, uh, big block Chevy. There's nothing cool about a 632 with two carburetors and a couple stages. We left PRI, I guess it's gonna be three years, three PRI shows ago. Yep. Left, I told my wife, we've gotta get in the LS world, we gotta do something different because that's what's going on out here in the marketplace. Yes. Uh, so everything else in Top Sportsman and Top Dragster is big inch blowers and pro chargers mm -hmm. and there's just nothing cool about that. I mean, I, I get it. Yeah. They're letting them in pro mod and everything, but there's just nothing freaking cool about having a pro charger. There's something that's really cool about having a small block that's mm -hmm. got an OEM blower on it mm -hmm. that goes over 200 miles an hour and it's competitive and consistent. So how similar, you start talking about the blower a little bit, how similar are we talking to some of those new Copo Camaros, things like that? I mean, that's it. That's it's, basically, it's, you yes. just put it in a lighter car. Yes, we, uh, so the foundation is a naturally aspirated 427, which you can get in a Copo. Mm -hmm. And then we took, got with the folks at Magnuson, got a 2650 is what it is. It comes in a box. It's the top half off of a factory stock showdown 350. Sure. And there you go. That's what I, you I, I mean, it really, for all intents and purposes, it's a factory stock showdown engine in a lightweight pro stock Haas Camaro. How much does this car weigh? With me in it, 2,200 pounds. Wow. Let's rattle off a little bit. What's the chassis that we have here? So it's a, actually, this is a 2012 okay. Haas car. This was uh, Shane Gray's car. Okay. And then it is, uh, was Alex Laughlin's car, and now it's our car. Uh, but it's got a 2015 Camaro body line. Awesome. It's very, very sharp. So you talked a little bit, I don't know if you said this already, but how much power are you laying down we're with this probably, combination? We're probably making in an excess of 1,400 horsepower at the, at the flywheel. 1,400 horsepower, 2,200 pound car. When you're talking about the supercharger, how much boost? It averages about 22 pounds, not sure. very much. What transmission's in the car? Three-speed, turbo 400. Really? So you got shifted twice? It shifts twice, yes, and the first shift is extremely quick. <laughs> I can um, imagine. I really shouldn't say this, extremely quick. It's quicker than it would be like if we were running a two-speed power glide. Sure. Uh, and, and it's a very quick shift before it goes. And it's in high gear for an extremely long amount of time. Um, <laughs> but it's just, it's different. So what's the quickest ET on this ride and mile per hour so far? Uh, 672, 205. I imagine everything happens quick at 675 in a door car like yes. this. Well, and that's, I mean, I drew, I drove super comp cars, 890 cars mm -hmm. forever, right? Sucked at that. I'm yeah. Horrible. <laughs> uh, with the one final, 2010 of the U.S. Nationals. And so the owners, when we made the decision to put me in a top sportsman car, it was a business decision, economics of okay. going, we have, we had the money sitting in the shop they, uh, Mark had built a 67 Mustang, the blue Mustang that sure. he runs now. And they're like, we can make more money with you driving that than we can you driving this freaking dragster. Yeah. And so they got rid of it. Awesome. And uh, here I am, and it's way more fun to drive a door car than it is a dragster. Awesome. Probably the elite level of bracket racing technically here. 
Yes. Top Sportsman class. I have a little bit of experience with the Top Sportsman class in my background. My dad used to run Top Sportsman. Not at this level. This was way back in the day. He had a small block alcohol injected. Oh, it was nice. kind of a unique combination back in the day, but uh, definitely impressed with what we have sitting behind me here. We're going to take a closer look at it. Check it out, you guys. Don O'Neill, multi-time NHRA national event winner, gonna run us through a pass in his top sportsman car. Check it out. <clears throat> Is the steering wheel optional? All right, so the unique thing with the blower combination that we've come to understand is that it really has to have some temperature in the engine while we're on alcohol to get it to fire off first and foremost. So this right here, going underneath the tower, is my most nerve-wracking moment when I reach up and hit the ignition button, whether or not it's gonna start, yeah. I kid you not. So uh, it's just a quick spin, 40 pounds of fuel pressure on the dash, hit the starter button, kicks off, put it in, put it in first gear, pull through. So we do uh, what I would consider an extremely long burnout because I like doing burnouts. Who doesn't? Right? Uh, so because it's a three speed, uh, it's basically a pump up on the brake, a couple times, get pressure, set two, set the line lock, activate the three step, let off. Because we're running a pro stock throttle body, we don't have much leverage. There's a lot of vacuum on the throttle blades. So it gets a huge whack on the gas pedal and it breaks the seal and the engine jumps up and I basically just start cruising right on through typically around 66 6800 as it starts to jump up slam it in the second let go of the button and then get it one more time into third burnout don't let it grab don't like to hear that you don't want right? that no nope. right so put pull it back reach down put it in reverse and back up to the nice lovely sound of room room <laughs> room right yeah so we get back back up Put it back in neutral, they open the door, turn the burnout switch off, activate the next table for the run, turn on the O2 sensors, make sure everything's good. At this point, turn on the intercooler, let it cool the water, start rolling forward to the stage. Now because it has a nice smooth blower romp, you have to get in a rhythm with it. As you bump in, yeah. bump in, get a nice set, look over, make sure he's square, Take my hand off the shifter, set the brake, let off. We don't use a three-step, or two-step rather, stage in the car. I basically let the first bulb come on. As soon as I see it, let off, let the tree come down. Second ball, snap, right? Car launches, it's a quick deal into second, right off the bat, then into third. Reach up, hope that, hope that I see the chute move, hit the button, see the lever, Step off the gas, click it, cheer for myself, yeah. or <laughs> drop my head in defeat. Where's that wind light at? That's all I'm doing. Awesome. So you're using the Procube Z Plus. Ever try using Z Force before? No, I am not a push. I'm a release guy. Have you ever I, tried it though? I tried it once in the dragster super comp racing. Sure. I just was not that consistent. It with takes it. a while to, to get yeah. used to it, but I use it every single run. Love it. But I know a lot of people that don't like yeah, it. So. I can't get to it. Cool, cool. The lightning round begins now. All right, Don, are you ready for the lightning round? Are you down for this? Sure, I have like not? 10 or 12 questions here for you. Uh, just a quick answer. No passes, okay? No passes. No passes. First okay. one, is a hot dog a sandwich? No. Oh, failed already. What's your favorite musical artist? No passes. Wow. I'm going to go with right now, I am big into listening to uh, Luke Bryan. Okay, okay. It's girly chick, yeah, that may yeah. sound. Yeah. I have to revise the rest of these questions now. Oh! No, I'm just kidding. Morning person or night owl? Morning. What's your favorite junk food? Pizza. When's the last time you ate it? Tuesday. <laughs> Finish this sentence. Taylor Swift is? 
pain in the ass. <laughs> is a pop tart a calzone? No. Oh, come on, no. It's got starch on all sides. No, oh, come on. <laughs> What's your favorite word that starts with Q? <laughs> <laughs> What? He said quick. He said I, quick. I did. I tried to say quick. All right. All right. All right. Need you to focus on this one. This one's a tough one. Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? Horse-sized duck. Just, this is a gnarly horse-sized <laughs> duck. Are you sure about that? I'll take, I'll take all the horse. -sized oh duck. my god. What temperature do you keep the thermostat at? Oh, night or day. Night or day. Oh, uh, let's go with night. I want to know. 68. See. I'm on the same page. How about day? 70, 72. Okay. Right. Is corn on the cob considered a popsicle? No. <laughs> All right, last question. This is the most important one. Last question for you. Do you subscribe to Gallstar TV? Yes. I am one, one of the most newest subscribers to Gallstar TV. All right. All right, Don, thank you so much for spending time with me. How can people find you? How can they reach out to you if they want to learn more? All over social media. Don O'Neill Racing, Don O'Neill on Instagram, DonO'NeillRacing.com on the website. We'll have links down in the description of this video if you want to check it out, you guys. YouTube, Racers and Rental Cars, Podcast. All the supporting things. Go, All supporting Golf Star TV. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Don. Absolutely. All right. Have a good show.